Hey everybody, it is me again, and I am making a video in the midst of other videos to share my Ancestry DNA update. I originally got my test results just before DNA Day in 2018, so it's been about uh, two and a half years, and there was an update that came after that, but now here's an update that came after that. Now my first set of results and the first update I got after that there was a sweeping difference in those. Between that update and this update, there's not a huge difference, but because I didn't report the update in between, um, it will still seem sweeping if you saw my original DNA reveal video. So this is what it looks like, and I'll have my husband post it in isolation for me, but it now says I am 36% 36% of my DNA is associated with Nigeria, 21% Mali, 20% Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu peoples, where I think originally it said Southern, 13% uh, Benin and Togo, 4% England and Northwestern Europe, 4% Senegal, 1% Norway, and 1% Scotland, and that is it. So if I recall correctly, my original results had no Nigeria whatsoever. Now it's my top reporting um, region. Um, my Mali, I believe, was third at 14 percentage. Now it's 21 percent. Before, again, it was Cameroon, Congo, and I believe it was Southern Bantu peoples. And now it's Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu peoples. And it says 20% now. So now that has bumped from my number two to my number three. Benin and Togo now report at 13%. Whereas originally, uh, that was my number one. And uh, my England and Western Europe has gone down from 5%, I believe, ish to 4%. Now I have Senegal reporting at 4%. Norway, I think is still 1% if I'm not mistaken. And Scotland is reporting at 1%. Ireland is off totally. Um, and so now my European ancestry has gone down and my A African ancestry has gone up even further. So if I'm not mistaken, this is 94% African ancestry for someone born in America, whose parents are born in America, whose grandparents are born in America, whose great-grandparents are born in America. You see what I'm saying? That is that is pretty robust. Uh, my original results were fairly robust per region anyway. Like I don't have a whole lot of regions. And then my numbers were really strong for my top three regions. Um, so again, I kind of just have robust African ancestry for someone born this late in the game. And it's so cool. I might as well say it since I'm, since this is ancestry DNA, which is linked through ancestry, I've joked about it. It's saying that I believe that my paternal grandmother's people were on the absolute last transatlantic slave ship and i always say that in a joking manner even though i'm not joking because i believe that um that they are a hundred percent african in this interim i have found out through family and through a family reunion book and talking to a cousin and asking questions of family members and looking in notes i have that i actually do have a grandparent's grandparent but it's on the other side of the family it's on my mother's side who was a full-blooded african and the notes from the family book say that that ancestor was actually on the last transatlantic it was a cargo ship um and so uh i might have two lines like that we'll see i have uh, pending African ancestry mitochondrial DNA results from my paternal grandmother. And then I am probably about to take the 23andMe test because then it will give me my haplogroup, my maternal haplogroup that I would have in addition to my father's mother's haplogroup, which will come back from the other test. So this is so fascinating. I am so excited. 
So again, at this point, I'm reporting 94% African ancestry. And I'm so curious if this update, plus even the original results that I got, might inform what peoples I might actually be from on my father's mother's line when that comes back. Again, that's just one line of my four grandparents and then one line of their two her two parents and so on. So it's not a composite, but I'm still curious if, if I was reporting um, Benin and Togo number one before, no Nigeria, now I'm reporting Nigeria. I wonder if I might be of peoples that are across both of those nations such that the refinement of the um, reference data might do that. I'm curious, we'll see, um, but I guess I'll save some of that for the other video oh but one thing i want to say about my shared matches it does seem that uh my paternal aunt has very strong nigerian ancestry as her number one and then the others even her number two is not a close second um and further than that it seems that my paternal grandmother's relatives who have also taken ancestry dna have more Mali than me in their regions. And it seems that my paternal grandfather's people who have also done ancestry DNA have more Nigeria than me in those regions. So I really appreciate that feature because I don't believe that was there when I tested the first time. That kind of gives me an idea of which branch of the family what comes from. Again, I seem to have more Nigerian with my father's people. They have more Nigerian reporting than I do. And then my father's mother's people have more Mali reporting than I do. So again, I'm curious to see how this all fits together. I'm just so excited. This is fascinating. I've loved this kind of stuff all my life. And so anyway, there's my update. Stay tuned. If you didn't see my original DNA reveal video, you can go look at that now. And then me speaking about the uh, mitochondrial DNA test through AfricanAncestry.com. That's already posted and you can go look at that now. And then when I get those results, then I will make a revealed video about those results. And again, um, unless uh, unless I hear some concerns, then I'm about to do 23andMe as well. So then stay tuned for a video for that as well. Anyway, thanks guys. And I love watching all you guys' videos too. It's so much fun. Thank you. Good night. Happy Dashiki Day, it's October 30th. <laughs>